incredible, just joyful, amazing improvisation there from the great bass player Ernie Shepherd. And now, in tribute to Duke Ellington, we've got something really special. Although we know him as the drummer in the world's biggest rock band, the Rolling Stones, Charlie Watts is in fact a jazz man to the core. So we've invited him to appear in a group with his lifelong friend Dave Green on bass and John Pierce on piano, alongside the excellent US saxophonist Scott Hamilton. It's over to Scott to introduce this next tune. When we were trying to figure out a song to play with Charlie, uh, Dave suggested a tune by Duke Ellington called Happy Go Lucky Local. And it's better known as Night Train, which became a huge hit. And also uh, the official song for strippers for many years. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna try to play it. Happy Go Lucky Local or Night Train.
so great to see Charlie Watts go to his happy place there. So at home, swinging along to that laid-back tribute to Duke Ellington. Now, Dave Green and Charlie Watts have been friends since they were boys. We can quite legitimately say that jazz brought them together. Here they are talking about just that, jazz and growing up. Jazz drummers love Charlie. They love him. They love absolutely well, adore him. Yeah. Because he plays... He's not a rock drummer, you know? He's not a rock drummer. He, he holds the sticks and the way he plays the time. His backbeat is amazing and it comes out very strongly in the band, in Rolling Stones. But it's, it's evident when he plays jazz as well. We used to play in a skiffle band. Our mums were sort of friends yeah. before we were, in a way. I mean, we were kids, but... Yeah. And then we got to liking the same type of... We, we could both hear how great Mingus was with Max Roach. <laughs> You had all the records, didn't you? I had a couple. Mm. I first heard Massey good. Hall. Yeah. In your bedroom. Yeah, right. Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie, 10 inch LP, which yeah. Charlie had. And it was Salt Peanuts, which was the epitome of fantastic bebop playing. It was like futuristic. <laughs> I mean, it was like atmospheric. And you also had the Blakey record with Johnny Griffin and Spanky Depressed oh, yeah. on bass. Oh, yeah. The whole thing was like every week you're discovering new yeah. music. And you bought the record and you, oh, you, you read the sleeve the notes and you still you know. got them actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've still got and that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I still look at photos of Coltrane and think, God, I wish I had that jacket now. Do you know what I mean? And when the Miles wore a new suit, you'd you'd all want one. And when you watch the photo of Milestones with him on the cover in the green shirt, I mean everybody got a green shirt. I've never got one quite like that. I've had loads of them, but they never look like that. 